Dear Gabriella, hi Gabby, hey Ella, yo Marie. I'm a little embarrassed, yeah, a little embarrassed you posted online about me. Cause I read your status that said, worst birthday ever, sad face. Look, I made a mistake, it was just a smidge of your birthday cake from the office fridge, and I'm sorry, so you can stop being clever. You're basically ruining my life. Thanks, bye. <laughs> Dear Gabriella, that email, I know it went through. I don't need your forgiveness. Well, I need your forgiveness. I need to be cool with you. Because I read your status that said, life is so cruel. Devil emoji. I was up all night and obsessed all day. I have to fight in this massive way. I reached out my olive branch, and you're being a tool. Thanks, bye. So, Gabriella, day three of ignoring my mail. You won't respond, can't make you respond. How did I fail? And you wrote a status that said, my world just broke, sent on my iPhone. And you're not at your chair, have you been in a week? Well, that isn't fair if you play hide and seek. I got so many words for you. I'll choke. What more do you want from me? Should I beg at your feet and cry? Joke's on you, I'm already there. With Jack Daniels and red wine to spare. Let me know. See you soon. Okay, thanks, bye. Dear Gabriella. Dear Gabriella. Dear Gabriella. <laughs> But when you get back, you might notice the post-its littered all over your desk with statuses all my own. So many statuses. Hi, Gabriella. I'm sorry for your loss. See, nobody told me. Nobody told me. I just heard it right now from our boss. But it explains your status that said another angel lives in heaven. Sent from Annapolis. Please ignore me, it will, like you would a reply all. If you need me, then still write back or call. I'm here for you in this tough time. Please don't be shy. Let me know and take care. And sorry for my overshare. I'll understand if you can't look me.